Hello everyone and welcome to Chatelaine Makes. I'm Lorraine and I dyed some yarn so I had that video and this is the end results. So I have this here. I'll show you what that looks like in a second. So I have, so I have two of these. They are 60% uh, superwash merino, 20% nylon, and 20% silver stellina. They are 100 grams and 400 yards. So, and I use burgundy and emerald green. And that's what those look like. So those will be going in my shop. have to put the yarn bands on and take some pictures so I also did this one this is wool and Gora blend use periwinkle and fire red so fire red is quite dominant so it ended up like a pink with a pale purple. And this is approximately 408 yards. Oops, I didn't do that very well. I'll have to fix that. And I have one hank of that. Um, then I added, remember I was asking if I should add more color to that yarn I dyed a while back? So this is a wool blend. I'm not sure exactly um, what type of wool it is, but I added the turquoise to it and turquoise is quite dominant. And this is approximately 816 yards in here. So it's nice green, goes into purple and pinkish. And I'm not sure if I'm going to use that to make a top or a sweater for myself or not. So I'm not sure if that's going to go into the shop. I did, whoops. Periwinkle, this is uh, somewhere between a three and a four. This one I am not going to put in the shop because it had um, several breaks in it. So what I did was to put it on the, the swift was just to kind of splice it together. So this turned out kind of, this was my I think this was my mud mop. Yep, this was my mud mop. So I had some dark green left over that I made. I had some emerald, some uh, sapphire blue, some brilliant blue and I added some I think I added some scarlet to this, but I'm not sure. So I have that. Okay. Then, oops, I had three hanks of a chunky. This is wool and alpaca. It is not super wash wool, so I have to, this is quite springy, I have to uh, put this on the Swift again and measure for the yardage. And this is the periwinkle. And here is the 
a strand of yarn. So it's a little bit heavier. You could call it a four, um, but I think it would be like a heavy four. So that was just the periwinkle. Then I did silver gray and scarlet red. So once again, I have to put this on this, I can use more of a spring. I have to put this on the Swift to um, calculate the yardage before it goes in the shop. So there's two of those, yardage unknown, unknown right now. And I wanted to show you, I've still been do doing some knitting. Um, I plan on doing 10 pairs of socks this year for 2022. This is pair number four. So I have done past the heel and I'm on the foot part here. And this is, which pattern is this? This is the essential sock, the paint box one, the essential sock. It is a free pattern. So I'm on the foot and then I just need to shake the toes and the first sock of this pair will be done. Okay. I did speak to Charlene over the weekend. Speak By, by speak I mean um, message back and forth. Um, there was a possibility of her going home on Tuesday, which was yesterday. Today is March 2nd, and um, so I haven't heard back to see if she was uh, had gone home or not. I did message her um, last evening, uh, so I so far I haven't heard back. Um, probably not uh, later tonight or um, tomorrow I'll hear back from her. I'll just whip her out another message and just remind her maybe she... Um, seen it and decided to get back to me later and forgot all about it. So um, other than that, uh, I don't have anything else. Um, yesterday we went out, uh, pick up some a few things and some lottery tickets and uh, no mask, yay yay. Um, who knows what will happen in three or four weeks. We may have to be wearing a mask again. But uh, I'm fully vaccinated with my booster, so and so is my husband. So, and his eye is improving. He uh, can see a little bit better each day. Um, the white of his eye looks good. So, um, he's still off work. Uh, he still has to keep his head down for most of the time. So, um, I think he can't do much until that gas bubble that they put in uh, his eye to help um, the to help reattach the retina um, goes away. So um, we go back in the middle of March for a follow-up and see what else he can do. And uh, so right now he's not doing a whole lot, um, helping around the house a little bit as long as he keeps his head down. He's um, getting kind of antsy because he is uh, quite active. So other than that, uh, Things are not too bad here. So we are expecting some more snow. Um, February, uh, Jan February and March um, here, we're used to getting snow. So um, it's just kind of a little bit hard because it's mild and then it gets really cold. So, but can't do much about the weather unless you move. So we can't afford to do that. So we're stuck here for a while. Anyways, uh, I wish you all a good rest of your week and uh, until next time, this is Lorraine from Chatelaine Makes. Oh, please leave comments um, down below in the comment section. I'd love to read the comments and reply. Um, if you have any suggestions or, or anything else, you can leave those down in the comment section or um, you can 
send me a message. I am on Facebook. Uh, I do have the Facebook group Chatelaine Makes. And I am on Instagram as Chatelaine Girl 59. And that information will be down in the description box below. Um, so yeah, that's it. Have a nice week and take care. Hope you're doing well. And like always, this is Lorraine from Chatelaine Makes signing off.